is determined by the Lord Jesus Christ himself. He has the final say concerning the righteous ones of the Lord. Letting our light shine. Letting our light shine. Praise God. The born again believers are the light of the world. John Maxwell says in leadership that everything, everything rises and falls on leadership. I also want to say that everything rises and falls on the firm foundation of unbeliever. If the foundation is not firm of unbeliever, even to receive the light that we are talking about will not be easy. But the fact is, we are supposed to be the light of the world. But even if the light comes to you and you do not have a strong foundation of your faith, you will do nothing about it and you will not be in a position to shine wherever you go. You will not let your light shine. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 14. You are the light of the world. And a seat on the hill cannot be hidden. Verse 15, neither do people light a lamp and they put it under a bowl. Mm -hmm. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. You are the light of the world. These are the ones of Jesus. Jesus speaking to his people and more so to his disciples he was telling them they are the light of the world and uh, since they are the light of the world he was giving an example of a city that is on a hill which cannot be hidden because it is on a hill. The city built on the top of the mountain cannot be hidden. Likewise, you believers, you disciples of Jesus Christ, your light cannot be hidden because you are the light of the world and you are like that city that is built on a mountain, therefore, you are expected to release the light that is in you so that everybody can benefit from it. Hallelujah. He says, naturally, people do not light the lamp and they put it under a bowel, but they put it on a stand. They put it on a high place whereby it can, it can light the entire house. Nobody lights a lamp because the purpose of lighting a lamp it is because there is darkness. And therefore the purpose of lighting the lamp is to chase away darkness so that you can have the light that you need so that you can do your work without being obstructed by darkness. So the light lights where there is darkness so that it can remove the darkness so that you can do what you want to do without being resisted by the light. Jesus giving us 
a high position that we are the light of the world means that the world is the world full of darkness. And there is no light in the darkness apart from where the saints of the Lord are. Because they are the ones to portray the light into the world of darkness. Jesus was giving the disciples their rightful possession in the world. So that's why he was telling them, you are the one now to shine in the world of today. But before we go so far, let us dig deeper to know where do we get this light? Who is the source of this light that Jesus is talking about? Slowly, let us go to the gospel of John chapter number 1 and verse 1. So that we know what was there in the beginning and how this light came to be the light of man. The Bible says that in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. Let's move on. Now, the author changes the information that he wants us to understand. In instead of using the word, he begins the sentence that he was with God in the beginning. Meaning, the word that was there in the beginning and the word that was with God is a person. That is why in the following verse, the author is using he. Because the word is he. And this word refers to the name of Jesus Christ in simplicity. So, when John talks about the word being there in the beginning, he refers to Jesus himself, who is the word of God, who was there in the beginning, and he was in God, and he was God. He was with God in the beginning. Jesus was there in the beginning. Through him, all things were made, and without him, nothing was made that has been made. So whatever you see, it is the work of Jesus Christ. In him was life. In Christ was life. And that life was the light of man. In Christ Jesus was life. We want us to see the source of the light. Because the Bible says we are the light of the world. But how do we get this light? Sincerely, if we are the light of the world... How do we be? How do we get this light? The Bible says, in Christ Jesus, there is life. And this life is the light of man. Praise Jesus. The word life there refers to eternal life. Meaning that whoever receives Christ Jesus, receives Eternal life. And when you receive this life. Amen. When you receive this life. You cannot remain in darkness anymore. Amen. The light of Jesus Christ comes into your life. So that the life that Jesus has given you today. The life that you have in Christ Jesus can produce some light so that the earth light can chase away every kind of darkness around you. So the light that you have received comes from the life of Jesus 
which is in you. When Jesus comes into your life, he gives you forgiveness of your sins and he gives you the assurance of eternal life. Because the first letter of John, chapter number 5 and verse 11, and this is the testimony God has given us, eternal life. And this life is in his son. Verse 12. Therefore, he who has the son has life. He who does not have the son of God does not have life. So, he who has the son of God, Jesus Christ, has life. This means eternal life. And this life inside of you is what produces light. It is not your light. It is the light of Jesus Christ which is in you as a result of accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. So when Jesus says that you are the light of the world, it is because you have his life in you. And if you have the light of Jesus in you, Definitely, you have to shine wherever you go and darkness must disappear when you appear. Any place that you appear, darkness must go. Any place you appear, demons must flee away. Any place that you appear, the demons must be subjected to, the, to your authority because Jesus in you he is shining and destroying everything. That is allowed the darkness or anything that is in dark places. He is removing all the hindrances that are within the dark areas. Because there is the light of Jesus inside of you. When Jesus says, you are the light of the world, it means that there is some work that has been done in your life. So that you become the light of the world. The life of Jesus in you brings light to all believers so that they, are, they may let their light shine where there is darkness. The, this light comes from Jesus to those who believe in him as Lord and Savior. Hence, every born again believer as the life of Christ. And the life of Christ in a believer produces the light which produces good deeds, good works. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 16. The Bible says, In the same way, let your light shine before men. Let your light shine before men. That they may see your good works or good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. In the same way, let your light shine. Let you be like a city that has been built on the top of a mountain. Let your light shine. Where is your light shining? It is shining among the people that are living in darkness. So that they may be attracted by that light through your character, through the good works, through your deeds, in your surrounding where you are, in your village where you are. Where you are working. Hallelujah. Jesus is asking you. You let your light shine. Among those people. So that they may see. Your good works. That means. People want to see. Your light producing. Good fruit. But if we walk in the light. As he is in the light. We have fellowship with one another. 
And the blood of Jesus, his son, purifies us from our sin. If, but if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, it is the only time that you can have a true fellowship. Hallelujah. The reason why there is no true fellowship in the family. The reason why you cannot see the light shining among the spouses is because they are not walking in the light. The reason why there is tension in marriages between husband and wife why there, there is a tension? Why they cannot agree together? It is because they are not walking in the light. They cannot walk in the light because they do not have the light themselves. For you to have the light of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ's life must first be created in you by believing in him so that his life that gives his light may be manifested in your heart. Without the life of Jesus Christ being manifested in your heart, then you cannot produce any light. That's why you are fighting. You are not walking in the light. You are walking in darkness. No one as the light to shine, to remove the darkness. You are both of you ever in conflict. Ever in conflict. Two of you, you are ever in conflict. And you don't sit down to ask why. I'm giving you the reason. The person who is supposed to produce the light to one another is not in you. So there is darkness. I wish that any of you could be the opposite. At least so that the brother or the sister may see some light. If we walk in the light, then because he, Jehovah, is in the light. It means if we walk in the light as God is in the light, we will be walking with him in the light. We will be having his guidance through his, the power of his Holy Spirit. Because he is also in the, in the light. Amen. If you are walking in darkness, you will never meet with Jesus, my brother. It doesn't matter how many times you fast and pray. As long as you are walking in darkness, you have to walk in the light as he is in the light. That is the time you can connect with your master. Our viewers, are you there? As long as you are walking in darkness, you can attend many church services. Do the church rituals. Do whatever you can do as a, as a religious person, but not as a righteous person. You are still walking in darkness. If you want to walk with Jehovah under the Anointing of the Holy Spirit work in the light of Jesus Christ who is in you. And if he is not in you, then how will you work? The, the reason why this nation of Kenya, we are assumed to be 80% Christians. We are assumed to be. And then we do not have the, we do not see the demonstration or the effect of this 80% Christianity. Why? Because the bigger portion of those Christians are walking in darkness. They are religious people. They are coming to church, yes. They belong to some denominations, yes. But they have no 
light of Jesus Christ in themselves. Actually, when they come to church, they try to bring their darkness in the church. But glory be to God that the church of Jesus Christ cannot be darkened, but be darkened by human beings. Hallelujah. The light of Jesus Christ shines upon them and then go home condemned and feeling unworthy because of the truth that is taught in the word of God. The reason why we have so many Christians being involved in corrupt deals yet they go to church is because they are walking in darkness and not in the light of God. The Bible says if we walk in the light, as God is in the light, then we have a relationship, we have a fellowship, one with another. Praise God. That's why we cannot move because we are we are not walking in the light. And when people are are not walking in the right, then God is not in their midst. Amos 3, 3. Two cannot walk together unless they are in agreement. In agreement. Two cannot walk together when they do not have the light of Jesus in them so that they can agree. Amen? When the light of Jesus is so new, you can remove your darkness. You can remove your bitterness. The reason why people cannot walk together because one is living in sinful practices. One is a fighter. And the other one is the subject of the big boxer in the house. How do you expect God to come through for you in your issues? Hello? I'm speaking to married people. When you are not a prayerful person, and you are purporting to be a Christian. You are confessing Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And you are a full of darkness. Time has come for you. Either to walk in the light. Or to remain walking in darkness. And we will have no fellowship with you. We will have fellowship with those people that are walking in the light. Because unless you walk in the light, you will become a burden, not only to your family, even to the church of Jesus Christ. Amina? You will become a burden. Unless the light of Jesus has come upon you, you will become a burden to the work of Jesus Christ, to the ministry, and even to your own social life. You will become a problem. And you want to prosper like others. How will you prosper when you are walking in darkness? When your character is questionable everywhere. Remain a righteous person and you will walk in the light. Remain a faithful person. A woman, a man of integrity. And therefore, you will be walking in the light. Praise God. And you will be shining wherever you go. And you will have fellowship one with another. That fellowship one with another is so important. Because the fellowship of the church should be the fellowship that is in families. If we cannot have fellowship with you here in a genuine manner, in a clean manner, they have, even at home, you cannot have a fellowship with your husband or with your wife or with your children. 
Praise be to God. Are we together, church? Listen to me carefully. Today is your day. You purpose how to walk. If you want to walk in darkness, then the arrest, the fruit of walking in darkness. If you want to walk in the light, the arrest, the fruit of walking in the light. One, we will have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus will continually cleanse us from all unrighteousness, from all sin, because we are walking together. We call upon the blood of Jesus. It cleanses us and it purifies us and we continue with the journey. Hallelujah. In your social life, walk. Walk in the light. At your place of work, Walk in the light. In the church, walk in the light. Praise be to God. Yes. 80% Christians. And why, why are we having embezzlement of public funds now and then? 80% Christians. And why are we having these corrupt deals? 80% Christians. Then what is happening in Kemsa? It is because people are not walking in the light. They are still in darkness. Coming to church does not make you a Christian. Giving your offer in church, even tithe, does not make you a Christian. To become a Christian is to have the life of Christ inside of you so that you can shine in Kemsa. You can shine in National Youth Service. You can shine in the ministry of hell and other places we do not have that number of Christians solely they the percent is too many we are not even a half of that we would have made an, an impact if we are 40% Christians true Christians believers that are walking in the, in the light of God even if we are 40% we would have made an impact in this nation of Kenya Hello. Walk in the light. Live in the light. See the light. Jesus speaking said this once in John 8 verse 12. When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness. But we will have the light of life. Jesus is the light of the world. And Jesus in us, he said, we are the light of the world. Why? He himself confessed family and clearly, I am the light of the world. Meaning, those who have believed in him, he has challenged them. To be the light of the world. Hallelujah. And whoever follows Jesus. Will never walk in darkness. Why are you walking in darkness my brother? My sister why are you walking in darkness? Say Lord Jesus. Come into my life. And forgive me. Of all my sins. Let your light shine upon me that, I'm, that I may be able to release the same light to others. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Help me, Jesus, to walk in the light because you are in the light. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.